This is the Beyond EDC um, modern Navaja called the Night Horse. It's de designed by Dirk Pinkerton. And uh, this is one, this is, as you can see, Beyond EDC. And then this is the Beyond EDC asymmetrical line. That's the fancier uh, brand, uh, kind of mid-tier for them. And this is also the Night Horse, but in beautifully milled, titanium and this is a prototype um, this is not a production run you can see by the totally sterile blade uh, i bought this off of uh, dirk pinkerton he had uh, some of these some of his prototypes and he wanted to clear out and uh man i jumped at that chance um i absolutely love this knife this design i talked about this a lot when i first got it uh, i've been carrying it still quite a bit Crazy thing about Beyond EDC, you know, they have this three-tiered uh, production thing where they, they do Beyond EDC, and that's their inexpensive stuff. This one, 14C28N, incredible drop shot action. Really nicely milled and contoured everything. Just a beautiful knife. This is 30 bucks. You can get it in uh, this kind of sand color or olive drab or black G10. Really nice G10. Uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I believe this is an exclusive there, at least for now. But thirty bucks, it's unreal. It's like I want to buy a whole bunch of them and just hand them out, <clears throat> hand them out to random non-knife people. Now, I declared at one point, oh, I shouldn't get the titanium one because I'll do what I did with this. I dropped this, uh, but I ended up pretty much taking care of that tip. Any pointier than that, and I'm likely to break it. So uh, it was pretty. It didn't take me too long to repair. And uh, once I did, this was back in the pocket. It was only about three days uh, of waiting until I was able to, to do it. Some differences between uh, these. Uh, this has much more aggressive, uh, big jimping. Uh, the blades are pretty much the same. Um, that dramatic Spanish clip point Navaja uh, look. It's just so beautiful. I love these big giant thumb studs that Dirk uh, puts on his designs. Um, I love that this blade is sterile. This just got to me. So uh, I'm showing them, I'm showing these off together. Great action on this. Uh, no weight relief in this titanium. You can feel it's pretty substantial. Uh, it's nice and slender. And wait, before we go any further, let me do a, a size comparison and show you how large this knife is. Um, here it is with a paramilitary two, and here it is with a three inch uh, RSK, mini RSK Mark I. So this knife comes in at four and almost, oh, it's four and a half inches basically. Four and a half inches of blade, very nice, big. I love big knives, and uh, this is, if you're gonna have a big folder, having it be a Navaja, the Spanish folding knife that Spaniards started carrying when it became illegal for them to carry swords. To settle their scores, they would carry these large uh, ratchet locking folders that had uh, pull rings on the back to undo the lock. And they had these horn-shaped handles just like this. They're absolutely beautiful, uh, traditional Navajas. And this echoes the shape uh, just in such a nice way. Dirk Pinkerton is an awesome designer. I'm just looking at the differences between the, the swedge on this is a little different, a little more. Yeah, these blade shapes are subtly different. Uh, they changed it a little bit, I guess, before production. Dirk Pinkerton is an amazing uh, knife designer. Uh, as you can see, his designs across a number of different labels and production houses, just beautiful stuff. Um, but also his handmade knives are incredible. I'll show a couple from my collection. Well, I'll show all of my collection, which is um, I, my Dirk Pinkertons are, are growing in number. Um, but I love the way this feels. You can come all the way back here, uh, similar to uh, say some of the large cold steels. Many of them have that sort of curve and it makes it uh, comfortable and easy to come back here for extended reach um, in, you know, in a sort of in a fighting situation or say you're you're delimbing you know tiny little whatever it just gives you more reach um 
and that this little turn here almost comes up a slight bit here. It almost grips your thumb. Um, but uh, also this curve butts up against your palm. So if you're going to hold it back here and thrust, uh, you get a lot of support here from that curve in your palm. And it's not uh, outrageous to think of this as a fighting knife because that's its lineage, you know. And uh, Dirk Pinkerton designs tactical usage into even his most EDC designs. He's always thinking about that. This one definitely is, uh, um, well, as useful as it is beautiful, I would say, for that kind of thing. If you're going to carry it uh, for a self-defense situation, I would say that's pretty good. It, that is, assuming you could pull it out and open it without dropping it because you're adrenaline dumping and you've never been in a knife fight before. Uh, assuming all that stuff is squared away, the tool itself uh, would be excellent for such a uh, task. Okay, um, this one here, like I said, uh, in this really nicely um, sculpted G10, this has a 14C28N flat ground blade, and this one, the titanium, and they come in three different titanium versions, this sort of blasted gray, um, a bluish anodized, you know, but still a, a like a gray heather blue, and then a bronze. And um, uh, these uh, from Asymmetrical uh, Beyond EDC, and these come with S35VN blades. Now this, being an unmarked prototype, I'm not even sure if it is, it could be S35, probably is, uh, but they could use anything there for a prototype just to slug in, right? Maybe not, maybe not, since people are taking these and testing them. Um, definitely uh, can can flick this one open. The one hand is a little, uh, the one-handed slow roll on this, since it's kind of slender, is, let's see, yeah, it's doable if I'm focusing more of my pressure back here. Yeah, but actually, it's just not very comfortable to do. That's way more comfortable to do. Uh, let me show this with some other... Um, okay, so here it is with the Dirk Pinkerton designed asymmetrical contact. This is another beaut. Oh man, I love this knife. Just a perfect Warncliffe by my estimation. Uh, that I love the shape of that point. That angle is perfect. You'll see that same angle on the Yojimbo and on the um, Hinderer Knives um, XM series Warncliffs. Um, great knife. Love this thing. This is uh, arguably more easily pocketable than these large Navajas. Here, I'll get this one. Put that over there. Here it is with the Kaiser inversion. I love this knife. Uh, contrary to what you might think from this weird design, it really does make a great EDC utility blade, you know, um, but it is intended to be a Picall style um, self-defense, classy, titanium, expensive self-defense knife. And what a cool design this is uh, by Dirk Pinkerton. Now he's coming out with the inversion under his own shingle now. Uh, and I showed that off not too long ago. His will have a removable ring if you want to have it in there like a karambit. A couple others uh, from Dirk Pinkerton, the awesome Concept Main Street. I've used this one quite a bit and for a while it was my uh, in the waistband knife. Um, man, I love this thing with the burlap micarta. Feels so good. I had such a nice pat uh, patina on this built up over a year and a half or so. And then I put it in my pocket at the pool and the chlorine bleached out my patina. And now, <laughs> well, now I guess I just gotta carry it a whole bunch. Um, and then let's see, this one, the proponent. Uh, this one is brand new to me. This was another prototype that I got when, when I got this one. Um, very, very nice knife. I like this one quite a bit. Uh, funny thing is, is I got a different prototype, also of a proponent, that is nowhere near as good as this one is. Uh, and then, and then, just I have to show these off, and this is what I'm doing. I'm showing off my two handmade uh, Dirk Pinkerton knives. Now, I, I would call them custom, except I didn't have them custom. Well, yeah, I, they're, they're handmade, let's say. This is the Cave Bear. 
a double-edged pical, just an incredible knife. And you can see he's not just a great designer, but his he's got a very steady hand. He freehands these beautiful um, knives he makes. Double-edged pical, beautiful handle, kind of bright and cheery, and then did deadly and grim. And then this, my most recent uh, acquisition from a couple of weeks back, the Razorback. This, this is a double-edged fighter inspired by uh, the Middle Eastern Kanjar and the Hell's Bells Bowie made by uh, Ontario Knives and um, Bill Bagwell design. So that's <laughs> exquisitely ground, very thin, very hollow, very nicely done. Uh, Dirk Pinkerton has just uh, a seemingly uh, boundless imagination for knives. He has a lot of he takes a lot of influence from ethnographic weaponry and uh, ancient, well, uh, I guess some of it is ancient, but weaponry from other parts of the world. Um, this kind of looks like that as well. So you're in good hands <laughs> with this design. Uh, it's a, a ethnographic design, but be filtered through the modern and very talented design mind of Dirk Pinkerton. So this is the Night Horse. And uh, the Night Horse tie for 150 bucks, 150 bucks for this, uh, four and a half inches of S35EN and sculpted titanium, and then 30 bucks for the Beyond EDC version. Um, they're both incredible. Um, I'm going to get one of these. I keep saying that, but I'm dragging my feet. One of these for my brother and one of them for my friend Ian, uh, just because that's only going to put me out 60 bucks. And I will get their undying loyalty and love. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, do check these out and check out, well, check out all the other Dirk Pinkerton designs out there. They're all awesome. All right. Thanks for watching.